Tarkov's helmets have a level of customization that isn't very prevalent in a lot of modern shooters. The focus is primarily around the weapons you yield and the operators you pilot, and with that comes skins for those characters which alter their looks in a variety of ways, including helmets. But specifically modifying the look of a helmet in most games is not usually a priority. This is once again why Tarkov can stand out from a sea of other shooting games. Not every helmet, but a surprising amount have a layer of modularity to them. More of the fancier, more expensive helmets allow you to add additional parts to them. Whether that's more plating for higher protection, a specific set of headphones, face shields, you name it. It's awesome how you can get so specific with the gear you want your character to load into a raid with. And for some time now, helmet mounted flashlights have actually been in the game and functional. Sort of. It's a little complicated, but with patch 13.5, BSG made them fully realized, and it's such a little thing, but man is it cool to have a flashlight on that isn't equipped to your gun. So let's go over the full implementation of helmet lights in Tarkov and why this is just a great addition to the game. Many helmets in Tarkov have these picatennies on the sides of them, allowing for some auxiliary parts to be added to the helmet, and for a while, they ultimately had no purpose in the game other than just being accurate to their real life counterparts. Honestly, and I can't remember exactly when this was added, but at some point, BSG added mounts for the sides of these helmets that allowed for flashlights and other tactical devices to be seated right on the helmet itself. Problem was, for a long time, these were only found in Raid. Which meant if you wanted to mess around with the light on your helmet, you were paying ludicrous prices because they could not be bought from vendors, and people who found them and put them up on the flea market saw it as an opportunity to make a lot of money. Another problem with the helmet lights was that they were incredibly gimmicky, and what I mean is that you could put the light on your helmet. However, you couldn't turn the light on when it was attached to your helmet, because that system wasn't implemented fully into the game. It was genuinely half-assed for a while. So, you had to attach the light to a weapon, turn it on while it's on the gun, then take it off and attach it to your helmet. Now you have a working flashlight on your head. But now there's another problem. You can't turn it off. And what's worse, honestly, is that the angle of the light, for some bizarre reason, and I have no idea why they did this, was pointed towards the ground instead of the center of your screen like you'd want it to be. So you'd have to free look up towards the ceiling to get the right angle. It was weird, stupid, and again, really gimmicky for some godforsaken reason. But luckily, that's not the case anymore. Many flashlights can be added directly to helmets as long as they have the mounts necessary to function on a rifle. And I gotta say, they look really cool when you inspect your character and you see a little light on the side of the helmet. Now, why would you want to do this instead of just attaching it to your gun? I honestly don't have a perfect answer. It looks cool, it works now, ergonomics could be a factor, but I think the main one is that sometimes you're using weapons that can't mount flashlights, and that's probably the reason why this might be more enticing. If you have something like a Mosin or the SVT in your hands, which are very basic in their modifications, and you can't add lights to this gun, at least early on for the Mosin, but a helmet light fixes that, and it can be turned on and off with no issues, and the angle is almost perfect. Let me, let me explain. Some flashlights behave a little differently in this regard. I've tried a couple of different lights on helmets to see which one gets the angle closest to the center of your screen. And it seems like the bigger flashlights are closer to being right in the middle. For example, the Army Tech Predator flashlight is probably the best option for having the light source really close to the center of your screen. It's fairly big, it illuminates well, but again, it's, it's where you would want it to be and not towards the ground. Another good example, the Zenit Clash 2U light is also another solid choice because it has the largest beam of light compared to most other tactical devices that have a light source. And personally, I would stay away from the Balder Pro flashlight because it really does still point towards the ground as you can see by the extra laser being on as well. These are just a few lights that I've messed with. I have not experimented with all the options in the game because right now I only have level 2 traders and some of them are really expensive on the market. But definitely don't be afraid to go offline and mess with whatever you think might be a good fit for your helmet. Some lights are definitely better for different situations and locations. The Zenit 2U might be the best for factory, while the Army Tech might be the best suited for outdoors during peak nighttime hours. 
And I'm sure there are other options that have their roles now that lights are more easily usable on helmets. I'm just glad they got added to the game properly. For a while, we just flat out didn't have it early on, and it was kind of a missed opportunity. Of course, not everyone is going to take advantage of this new mechanic, which is kind of a shame, because there's tons of use cases for lights on helmets, and if your gun can't run one, use a helmet that can. I mean, the 6B47 is 33k rubles from proper level 1, and can be bartered for with two bleaches at Ragman level 2. So it doesn't really take much for your illumination ability to go way up. No longer do you always need to be rummaging around at dark, completely unaware of the Omega Giga Chad that is actively trying to hunt you down for their Insomnia Quest kills. And that's not the only helmet that can use this to full effect. I think my biggest question so far that I can't answer personally, and I don't have the resources for it yet, is can you attach both a helmet and a face shield at the same time? If you can't, that honestly wouldn't surprise me. But if you can, then all I see in front of me is new opportunities for helmets to really become even more effective than they currently are. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on attachable lights to helmets are, and be sure to subscribe for more videos about the newest and coolest introductions to Tarkov as they enter the game. Hope to see you in future ones.